Go, go, pop. <laughs> <laughs> I love to pour the milk inside and watch it turn into chocolate milk. I find that shit low-key exciting, like a good morning trip. Really? <laughs> I don't like that part. That's the best part, man. That's why one eats Cocoa Puffs. Not for me. Kind of creeps me out. Word? How? I don't know. Just like untrustworthy, you know? Like what's the stuff in the puff? It seems suspicious to me, like it shouldn't be spreading, you know? Just stay put. Puff that doesn't spread. Yeah. Unspreadable puff. An unspreadable puff. Yeah. A lazy puff. Couch potato puff. Puff with no dreams, no ambitions, no desire to be more than already is, no desire to show the world its true potential. A puff that I can trust. A puff that, you know, aside from its desire to move forward, doesn't want to disrupt the rest of the bowl. It refuses to counteract the sitting balance in the milk world. Mm. Sounds a lot like racism. What? Oh, look, man. Let's say that I am the puff. No, better yet, black culture is the puff, okay? And you represent historical white people. Which historical white people? Well, like the right after slavery era of white people, the um, late 1800s, early 1900s. Okay. okay. And you, as said white folk, don't want black people or culture to spread. You want them to stay in their place. But since slavery has been abolished, you can't legally enslave them. Right. right. So then you create a system where they can't flourish or spread. Huh? They have no education, no money, so then they have to stay where they are, working on your plantation for crumbs, and instead you call it sharecropping. So, uh, am I the milk? What? In the scenario, am I the milk? Dude, you're the late 1800s white people. Yeah, but if you're the puff, I gotta be the milk, right? The white people are the milk. Yeah, man, you're the milk. And you're my Cocoa Puff. I'm your puff? Yeah, in this scenario, you're my Cocoa Puff. Bruh, I am not your puff. You're clearly my puff. If I'm the milk, then you're my puff. No, fuck that. I am my own puff. What? But I am not yours. I do not belong to you. Dude, what the hell? But I'm not just gonna sit here and be claimed by you. You said collect me. That isn't happening, dog. Dude, I was talking about the cereal. But you just said that you were my puff in my milk world, and now, you know what? My puffs are getting soggy now. So. But, but no, man, you can't call me your puff and turn around and start eating me and my people. But you, you trying to collect me and my people, bro, for some crazy get out type shit? Collect you? I didn't know that black people were collector's items. Dog, I'm telling you, white people like to collect black people, and I'm just gonna, not going to sit here and watch you collect me and my people so that you can eat us at your leisure. What the hell are you even talking about? Can I my spoon back? Look, man. All black people know that white people can only have so many black friends. They collect the ones they like, and they can't have past a certain number. Usually comes out to about 13%. Are you being serious right now? Well, black people are recorded as 13% of America's population, and that's generally the ratio kept in the friend circle. Some uh, pretty impressive statistics you're rattling off there. But do you honestly think that a Jew doesn't understand the concept of being collected? Okay. Fair point. Yeah. You have any evidence about this Negro collection theory? Other than slavery? Really? Okay, okay, maybe that was a bit heavy-handed. But look, man, this is not new news for black folks. It's a known thing, dude. Look, if I was too black, I might not make the cut for the friends list when it comes to my white counterparts. You're my friend, man, period. Not because you're too black or not black enough for some friend ratio BS, but because you're a good guy. I don't view you as some sort of commodity or an object. Or 
puff. I didn't know you felt so passionately about the relationship between cereal and milk. It gets deep, dog. Ha, ha, ha.